Pull up to door swerve. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up to door swerving. Back in the day, I was worthless. Started from the service in the middle of the desert with a widow. Hard enough to break a motherfucking thermos, nigga. Hey, look at the flick of my wrist. Don't forget the- Hey, what's going on guys? Back here with another episode of Copper Flop, where we review this week's premium set in NBA 2K18. So, this week for packs, we have KG's teammates packs. So, kind of a weird, strange theme for the weekly premium set. Like, I don't know, kind of weird. When I saw the teaser, I was kind of scratching my head a little bit, but... KG teammate packs and we'll have to look and see if these cards are actually height beastie and worth spending 10,500 MT per pack or 11,250 VC per pack. So again, that's four to five dollars per pack of real life money, or at least in the US, that's four to five dollars per pack. So I don't know, never really buy packs. So far I haven't, I have all that VC. I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting guys. I'm waiting for a really good set where it's worth it. I've only picked up VC over the sales. But other than that, I really don't ever recommend doing it, pulling for these cards. But anyway, again, they always have the boxes here, plus the topper, which is usually isn't that good. But hey, let's get right into the cards here. We'll go down to premium collections, all the way on page two. And not going to lie, the design looks very nice for this set, but I don't know. Kind of a weird theme, but we're going to start off the set with the GOAT, Ryan Scalabrini. So when I saw this card... Not gonna lie, I was pretty happy. Um, I'm glad that there's a Ruby Brian Scalabrini. I'm sure a lot of people will be running him. And look at this, he's very cheap already. Um, doesn't come with any Hall of Fame badges, as you can see. But we'll dive right into his stats here. Who should we compare him to? You know, he's the GOAT. We'll compare him to the greatest, or one, one not the greatest, but a very good power forward to the GOAT, Brian Scalabrini. So 6'9", from USC. Way better on offense than defense. Um... Again, no Hall of Fame badges, but he does have the mid-range shot. He does have a 95 three-pointer, which is very good. Obviously, can't speed boost. Good free throw. Can get some boards in the 80s. Um, average defense, nothing too crazy. He can dunk. He has the 85 standing dunk, 70 driving, and 60 contact. 70 speed, which is rather... It's kind of on the low side. Um, but yeah, not too bad of a Ruby card. He does have dunking tendency, so he will dunk. But getting into the badges... He has catch and shoot gold, pick a popper gold, limitless range gold, corn specialist gold, and deep range dead eye gold. So, very nice badges. Um, very good budget card. Honestly, I'll pick him up just because it's the GOAT, Ryan Scalabrini. Very cheap. Um, and honestly, it's a very viable card to run online, in my opinion. So, moving on to the next card, Trenton Hassel. So, I really don't know too much about this card, but obviously, he must have been a teammate of KG's at. Timberwolves so any of you Timberwolves fans maybe you guys know who this guy is know a lot about him but he's from Austin oh god pay PA I don't want to say that wrong but 6'5 shooting guard um his badges are defensive related so pick dodger and defensive stopper so gonna be a very good defender I'd imagine yeah 97 overall on defense 78 three ball so it's not you can't totally disregard it but not super consistent 86 ball control um, we'll compare him to, honestly, Pistol Pete. Why not? Um, a lot of quickness is there, of course. Very good defense, yeah. Very good defender. Can dunk. 69 driving dunk. I don't know. Speed ball, 82. Yeah, it looks just like a really good defender. Has an 85 driving dunk. Tendency. So, he will dunk on offense. Not crazy on the offensive end. I mean, again, you have to respect his three-pointer, but nothing insane, but more of a defender. So, Again, might be a good budget card to pick up, but again, there's better cards out there like the, oh, the Iman Shumper. That's probably a better card than this, in my opinion. So, moving on to the next card in the set, Kevin Garnett, who's a teammate of himself, which is kind of weird, but this card does have a dynamic duo with the Amethyst Sam Gasell that's in this set. A little spoiler. So, that's kind of nice, and he has two Hall of Fame badges, defensive stopper, pick and roller, and then some golds as well. Um, we'll compare him to, honestly, Jermaine O'Neal. I think that's a pretty good and fair comparison. So, nothing too crazy on the offensive end. I mean, he has a mid-range. Not a very good three-pointer. I wouldn't take a three with him. Um, passing, eh. Defense is pretty good. Dunking's really, is pretty solid. Uh, 69 speed. Two balls low. Honestly, this card's not looking too good other than his defense and, def- and uh, dunking. So, 
not gonna lie, this card's not the best. I mean, it's gonna be kind of cool for big Timberwolves fans and Kevin Garnett fans because you're not gonna be able to get the better Kevin Garnett's in the game most likely because of the price. But yeah, not the best Kevin Garnett card I've ever seen, or not the best card. Obviously, it's a ruby, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. So going up next to the next teammates of the Timber Timberwolves. Oh my God, Kevin Garnett. On the Timberwolves, Wally Zer Zerbiak. Yeah, this guy is a great shooter. I I know that much about him. At least six foot seven, small forward. Uh, we'll compare him to Rick Barry. I think that's pretty fair. Just because I know it's I know it's a diamond and ruby, but I think it's pretty fair. A lot of people have this card, and it's a budget card. So driving layups there, which is nice. Draw foul 88, not too bad. Mid range 95, open shot 3 96. So very good shooter. Can speed boost with an 86 ball control. Um, should have a dynamic duo with Bruce Bowen. The way that Bruce Bowen, uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys have seen that clip, but straight up karate kicked this guy in a game. Uh, look it up sometime. But pretty interesting. I'm kidding at the duo, but this guy looks like a very good shooter. Primarily offensive. Doesn't really have. I mean, he does have a driving dunk tendency, so he will dunk, I'm sure. But very good shooter. Um, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, which is nice. So. Yeah, has all the shooting badges, limitless range, corner special, steep range that I very nice. So we'll be a very good shooter. Definitely have to fear him on the court, but that's about it. At least you have to fear him on the court shooting wise, but that's about it. Um next card. We're into the amethyst. Brooke Lopez. I swear we've gotten so many Brooke Lopez cards this year, and they all are pretty much the same thing. But this one actually has four Hall of Fame badges. Might be nice for a Lakers squad, but 96 offensive overall. 96 defensive overall, 7 foot center. Honestly, a very good center all around. I'll tell you that right away. We'll compare him to. Uh, God. Ogowski. Yes, I think they're pretty similar. I mean, they can shoot and they can rebound and they're pretty slow. So, has post moves, of course. Has the mid range. Has the 3 of a 93. So, very good stretch big. And a good free throw. Good rebounding. Uh, 60 louder quickness, which is a big boost from his. Ruby, if I remember correctly, he used to have like 25 water quickness, as you can see, like the Zydrunas. Um, Very good defensively, very good dunking, Ten pair it with the tendencies, which are alright. I mean, they're not godly, but they're alright. Um, yeah, speed, yeah, 60 speed. So, a big upgrade from his Ruby, but again, not elite speed, but that's probably his only weakness on this card, in my opinion, his speed. So, he'll definitely get beat up the court by other more athletic centers, but... Other than that, this card has it all. Brick Wall, Hall of Fame, Drop Stepper, Hall of Fame, Pick and Pop, Hall of Fame, Mid Range Jedi, Hall of Fame, and then very good gold badges to go with it. So, definitely can't disrespect this card. Gonna be underrated, in my opinion. Uh, his price will even, he'll drop even more. I mean, it's already at 24,000, I, I saw here. So, definitely gonna drop down, be a very good budget stretch center. Uh, I, I would recommend him if he, he's in your price range. So, moving on to the next Amethyst, Andrew Wiggins. This is a very nice card might be the best Andrew Wiggins we get all year I mean I'm hoping we get a diamond for the playoffs but I know this will be a very high beast card for Timberwolves fans especially so a six foot eight small forward 98 offense 94 defense uh, we'll compare him to Vince Carter why not I already know he won't have the shooting capabilities at least badge wise but athleticism it's comparable I would say not super identical not identical but Comparable, so 94 mid range, 88 open shot three. So this Carter obviously has to beat there. Not the best passer it looks like, at least passing vision wise. But accuracy is okay. Rebounding not really relevant for um, Andrew Wiggins himself. A lot of quickness 97, so pretty good defender I'd say. Average um, 80 on ball, 95 speed, 85 speed with ball, which is, I mean that's good, but it's kind of a little low, but not awful. Um, Tendencies, of course, he's going to have 100 driving dunk and 100 flashy. And then go over to his badges. I believe he has, he has six Hall of Fame badges, chase down artist, relentless finisher, post driver, lobster finisher, tireless score, and difficult shots along with 15 gold badges. So pretty solid. I would definitely recommend this card. It's perfect for the way the game's played this year. Three-pointers and driving to the basket. I remember using the, his Emerald card earlier in the year, and it was absolutely amazing early on. So I'm sure this card is going to be a beast and a pain to try to stop offensively so moving on to the next game this sam cassell who gets the dynamic duo with a ruby kevin garnett and again this card is going to be very 
underrated in my opinion. Look at this price is already down to 22,000, which is very, very cheap. 6'3 point guard, we'll compare him to Lonzo Ball because a lot of people have Lonzo Ball. So, 96 driving layup, not too bad. Mid range 96, open shot 390, so not bad at all. Very good passing. Rebounding is obviously not the best because it's a point guard short. Defense, um, a little above average, I'd say. 85 on ball, um, lateral quickness 90. So, very decent defender. You just got to stay in front of him like pretty much every card this year. Defense is pretty broken, but 93 speed, 93 speed with ball, 93 acceleration. So, very good at the point guard position. I don't, I'm not sure about his release. I haven't used a card, a Sam Cassell card this year. Uh, dunking tendency, I mean, he will dunk, but not very often. And then looking at his Hall of Fame badges, pick and roll maestro, trier dropper, catch and shoot, and mid-range dead high, along with 12 Hall of, Hall of Fame, 12 gold badges. So, very good, going to be underrated, and probably going to be a very good budget card for Timberwolves fans and just people who are looking for a pure point guard. So, moving on to the next Amethyst, a Rondo, a Diamond Rondo. I said next Amethyst. How about the first Diamond, which is Rajon Rondo, and I always hate these cards just because Rondo... 2K always makes Rondo a good, a decent, a, a decent shooter, not amazing, but a good shooter. Look at that, 99 overall, everything. So, pink diamond technically, and we'll compare him to Lonzo Ball again. Um, great passer, obviously, one of the best passers uh, or pure point guards that I've ever seen play in my generation, at least. Um, 82 open shot three, which is the big thing with Rondo. He can't really shoot, but this card has a respectable three pointer. 97 open shot. Mid-range, 83 free free ball, free ball, free throw, oh my gosh, 97 ball control, and then of course the passing is going to be great, 99 and 98, along with 99 lateral quickness, and this is going to be a great defensive card too, that's another reason I hate this card, at least last year when the defense was better, um, this card would just clamp you up and get a lot of steals, and looking at the stats, yeah, this card should do the same thing, 99 speed, 99 speed with ball, 99 acceleration, this is a very, very good point guard if you can get around his size, but he will not dunk. Thank goodness. Last year I got postered, well, not insanely postered, but insane, insane, but postered enough to where I'd rage at this card. But this year he will not be doing doing that with zero dunking tendencies. Thank goodness. And let's move on to the Hall of Fame badges. Pickpocket, of course. Pick Dodger. Defensive stopper. Dimer, of course. Pick and roll maestro, of course. Flashy passer, relentless finisher, tear dropper, and acrobat. So, very good pure point guard, along with a lot of good personality badges. So, this is going to be a very good pure point guard card this year. And I honestly see a lot of Celtics fans running him, and you're going to have to respect him just because they gave him a three ball. So, moving on to the next diamond, Diamond Joe Johnson. And this is kind of cool. The Amethyst one this year has been very good. Uh, if you completed the historic. Hawks collection and this diamond's gonna be even better, I'm sure. 240 pound small forward, 6'7, 99 offensive, 90 defense, and we'll compare him to let's do Vince Carter again. Um driving layup, 96, very good. Doesn't really have a post game, 97 mid-range, 95 open shot three. Shout out to my friend, by the way, Jose Innocencio. <laughs> Shout out to him, because I know sometimes he watches these. 94 free throw, 86 ball control. Um, at Paul Pierce. Um, passing stats are pretty good. Offense and defense rebounding, not very good. Above average defending, I would say. 85 defensive consistency, not 86 on ball. Dunking's there, but not insane. 89 speed and 84 speed with ball. And then looking at tendencies, he will dunk pretty often with the 85 driving dunk tendency. So comparing Hall of Fame badges or looking at them. Catch and shoot, that's huge. Limitless range, huge. Deep range Jedi, huge. Mid range Jedi, that's huge too. So, gonna be a very uh, underrated card. That's kind of the theme and a lot of, uh, it's the word I've been using a lot in this collection. And I just think a lot of these cards will be overlooked just because they're not, they're known names, but they're not, they're not, you know, Kevin Durant or Paul Pierce. I mean, Paul Pierce is coming up here next, but it's not, you know, Kevin. Durant or Vince Carter, you know, big name like that. So I think these cards will kind of go under the radar. So pulling up to the next card, Paul Pierce. This guy is going to go for quite a bit the first day here. And there's not too many up. If that says anything about pack odds, by the way, 
uh, if you're watching this early enough, I don't know if I would pull uh, packs, but 6-7 Paul Pierce, 99 everything, uh, hidden pink diamond if you want to call it that, we'll compare him to Kevin Durant because they're both very, very good shooters, so he has the driving layup, has a post fadeaway of course, kind of broken this year, but he has it, 97 mid range, 97 open shot 3, 95 free throw, 89 ball control, so he can speed boost, pretty good passing, or very good passing I guess, can rebound with 80s, um, defense is very good of course, the truth, uh, 95 consistency, 94 on ball, 90 driving dunk, 80 standing, 85 contact, 90 speed, 85 speed to the ball, 90 acceleration, and then if we go over to 10 C's, he has 50 driving, okay, that's layup, 95 driving dunk, and 95 flashy dunk tendencies. So, very good card offensively and defensively. And then looking at the Hall of Fame badges, charge card, pick and roll my so catch and shoot, difficult shots, limitless range, deep range Jedi, corner specialist, and mid range Jedi, along with 13 gold badges. So, gonna be a very good card. I know the Amethyst one was very good. It's been out a long time, and it's we're long overdue for a diamond Paul Pierce, and we finally got it. So, this card's gonna go for a lot, and for sure, for a while. And it probably will do great with the way this game's played this year. So, moving on to the final diamond, and probably the my favorite in the set, Diamond Carl Anthony Towns. So, again, not too many up if that says anything about the pack odds. And we'll compare him here to, let's do Hakeem Olajuwon. So, he has a big uh, role to try to fill or live up to here. So, they're both 7 foot, 99s across the board. Hakeem's a little heavier, but that doesn't matter too much. 94 driving layup. Has the post game, of course. Has the mid range. Has a better shot open. Has a better open shot three. I think his release might be a little bit better, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, passings, eh, it's okay. Rebounding's good. Defense is obviously not going to be a, as good as Hakeem, but it's good. It's very good. 95 consistency, 90 on ball, so very good. Has driving dunk of 90, 95 standing dunk, and 85 contact, 84 speed. A um, little less than Hakeem because I have a shoe on mine, but. Definitely faster with the speed of the ball. Um, yeah, this car's looking very nice. 75 standing dunk tendency, 95 driving, 95 driving dunk tendency, and 95 flashy dunk tendency. So, very good center. Um, yeah, Timberwolves fans are gonna love this again a lot, just because it's you know Carl Anthony Towns, and they just made it into the playoffs last night with the win over the Nuggets, and Carl Anthony Towns was a beast. So. Also rebounder, he has pick and roller, post riser, catch and shoot, tireless score, pick and popper, mid range that I, and 17 gold badges. So, gonna be the best Carl Anthony Towns card this year, in my opinion, unless it goes off in a game they give him a 98 diamond or something. But, very nice card, and probably my favorite card in the set. So, moving on to the set reward, which it's pink diamond Kevin Garnett. So, if you can't get this one, which most people won't be able to, I guess you're gonna have to live up. Or live with the ruby one or the amethyst collection one which that's gonna be hard to get so very hard to get a kevin garnett this year so let's look into the stats and see if it's even worth completing this collection so let me switch on over here to yep 2k or mtdb um 2k central does have the cards up but they don't have the picture of Kevin garnett which is the reason we're looking or the card we're looking at so look at him here very nice card art of course 15 Hall of Fame badges, guys. 15. Look at them here. I'll let you read them. I don't want to talk your ear off, though. I've already done that if you made it this far. Has all the good inside badges. Has mid range that I. Typical shots, pick and popper. Very good defensively as well. Post Treasure Hall of Fame and finishers. That's huge. And then Hustle Rebounder. That's huge as well. So we'll look at the tendencies, which aren't available, I guess. But I'd imagine they're 100 across the board for dunking. But looking at the shooting stats, 92 open shot three 98 mid range very very good the only problem i see with this card is his release which i've used it once this year offline and his release is very bad like it is every year usually but you know sometimes you can get around it if he's wide open and you have the time but freaking super competitive catch and shoot scenarios might not be the best but getting away from the release has everything else going for him, 93 free throw, has the driving layup, has the dunking stats, again, guarantee he has 100 tendencies for every dunking thing, draw fouls there, the only thing this card doesn't have guys, is the speed with the ball, which I think they will definitely buff up to 80s, because they did that with Sean Kemp and 
Kevin Garnett last year, and they did that with, or Sean Kemp has like 84 speed of the ball this year. So I look look for this to be boosted up. Has 90 speed. The only thing this card really can't do is speed boost, but his passing's okay, rebounding's okay, and his defense, of course, is amazing. So yeah, pair that with the Hall of Fame badges, and this card's gonna be a beast. It will play like a pink diamond, but is it worth locking in all this MT and pulling packs and just all the you know yada 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 give your money to 2k basically in my opinion i would not do that especially with the pack odds let me switch on over here yeah the pack odds they just aren't looking the best again look at all the diamonds up here there's not too many up like i don't know the pack odds aren't looking too good right now maybe it'll change them later but i would not recommend pulling packs but let's I'll, i won't let that bring down or i will actually i will let that bring down Kind of the rating of this whole set so the rating of this whole set i honestly give it an eight and yes they gave us a pink diamond reward which they need to be i'm glad they did but the cards i don't know they're okay and i i said a lot of them are underrated the paul pierce was huge the joe johnson's pretty huge but all the other ones other than brian scalabrini and okay carl anthony towns too other than that the rest of these cards are kind of just eh, like okay andrew wiggins too so I'd say about half of them are, are good, but the rest of them are just eh. And then mix that with a theme. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And they definitely had this planned for a very long time because they, they released a video. I don't know if you guys saw that. And that, you can't just make a video like that in a day or two or even probably a week. It probably took them longer than that. So this was definitely planned for a long time. And I just, I don't know. Kevin Garnett's a beast, but it's very unfortunate for those who want the best Kevin Garnett. They have to get this whole set completed, and the odds aren't the best. So, 8 out of 10. I don't recommend pulling packs unless you're a diehard Kevin Garnett fan. And I don't know. I just really don't recommend it. So, that's my review, guys, on this set. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching this long because I definitely talked your ear off. But we made it to over 500 subscribers, guys. Uh, I believe we're at 507 at the time of recording this. It might be one up, one down. I'm not sure. Sometimes it fluctuates. But thank you so much for all the support for watching this video. And until next time, I will see you later.